Scorpio, this is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Remember, it is a Scorpio energy reading. So you take it where and how it resonates with you in your life. It is your reading. There are so many messages on this channel. I encourage you to peruse through and see what calls to you. If it calls to you, it is yours. That's just how it works. There's no particular time or date on these messages. If you're looking for a personal reading, I do do those. Take some time to check out my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot, and pick the, the service that's right for you, that fits your needs, and you can schedule and book all there in privacy and choose what you need. Um, Okay. Wow, we have a really beautiful progression that's happening here. But I also think we have an awakening of a consciousness that realizes this week where your blessings are and how blessed you've been. Let's go through the cards. We have the miracles are endless starting over on the left hand side, which indicates in the past. It doesn't have to be the distant past. In fact, I, I think it's implied that it is not the distant past, but miracles are endless abundance. But over here on the far right, we have spirit has your back which means that but he's he's sort of leaning toward the past so there is a sense of realizing something is awakening this week where you're realizing wow i had it really good and the resources are there i have it really good i have it it's already there it's like oh my god in retrospective i have exactly what i need and look it spirit's actually been carrying me this whole time so there is an awakening of blessings here this week. We have bring a gentle touch, which is love. Now it doesn't have to be romantic love, but love isn't romantic. Love and romance are not the same thing. Love is unconditional connection. And this is kind and tender and gentle. It is very Virgo energy because it is nurturing. You have a lot of earth energy here. In fact, represented, and I'll show you the cards. You have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, at least how I read them and what I associate what I associate the energies with. So you have Taurus energy, which is material abundance you have Virgo energy which is resource or resourcefulness abundance and then you have Capricorn energy which is law rules regulations contracts abundance so actual official support here's the one difference <sighs> be fearless and bold this is fire energy it's Aries energy this is a lot of confidence, a lot of movement forward, a lot of progress. It's also a lot of certainty. You are going to get a breakthrough this week, Scorpio, because of absolute clarity and certainty of the resources that you have. Gratitude is going to show your way to having the courage to be able to make a long-term commitment to something knowing that it's good or a long-term commitment that has been a long time coming is now coming to fruition. Now it's coming into the 3D. You have probably felt it for years, but not for years. In terms of how far this reading goes back, it's not years, maybe a month or so. You've been feeling this coming, but ultimately this is when, and it doesn't mean it's not true, it just means that it's not real. The truth and reality are not the same things. The truth is everything. It is the universe, it is God, it is all. The reality is just height, length, width, right? So there is something that has come from truth and now is absolutely officiated 
made official. Spirit has your back. Be fearless and bold. It's like an alarm bell goes off and you wake up and you say, the time is now. The time is now. I take action now. And this is divinely guided, Scorpio. This is divinely guided timing. So you were in sync with it. You listened. And now. The time is now. So let's dive into tarot. Remember, guys, there is always an extended reading that I hope you join me for after this reading. I want the tea. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> give, me the, give me the tea, God. Whatever you need to tell me, because this is beautiful energy. How does this come to pass? There's a message. I love you, God. Oh my God. I love, I just love it. I love the cards. So as soon as that, another card came out, it's covered up still. But when I asked, how does this come out? It's this, it's this. There is, there is a message that comes through. Or it is saying that this is a message that you need to speak. It's almost like mental clarity. So you can either read it from the, perspective of this is you as the person who is the active participant or if you're the passive participant this is coming in as a message that somebody comes and just it, it it's almost like Paul Revere shouting through the streets the message and the information it just gets comes into you it gets delivered to you you're gonna you're gonna pick up that call you're gonna get that email this is usually not an email this is usually somebody telling you something it's a very direct or it's you, all of a sudden the light bulb goes off and you're like, I have to act on it. So it is your behavior, but it's intellect. It's a decision, right? So we already kind of knew that. Let's, let's check out the hidden card. Oh, whew, perfect card for the hidden. Oh, shoot. Suck it, suck it. You know what this means? This means a secret is finally told. It's, it's finally somebody, it's the, the cat is out of the bag. And that's how you know the time is now. <laughs> oh God, it's so, it's just fitting so perfectly. It's like, it's like, that's how you know the time is now. Cause suddenly this secret comes out. This announcement is made and it's been stewing and you felt it. This is Piscean energy. This is moon energy. There's some revelation here or change in the atmosphere that is announced. And that is 100% when you know this is your cue. This is it. This is the cue. Time to act now. Let's get a moon card. Because, I mean, we already have the moon card. Let's get a moon card. We don't have a moon this week. No, because we just had the new moon last week. So we don't have the full moon is coming in a bit going to be a full moon in Aries too. Oh my, okay. <laughs> Just give me, wait a second. I know. I, sometimes it takes me a while. Oh my God. Okay. Aries, right? And out of all this energy, let's go over the cards. Out of all this energy, it was the Aries energy that kind of stood out like, what? What is this about? And I said, what is going to happen? What's the catalyst for this? This is the moon, full moon. And I think it's eclipsed too in Aries, the action taker. We got a time. We got a time. We got, we got a date. Full moon in Aries. Hold on. I believe it's the 27th, 28th, 27th, 28th of September, Libra season. So a full moon would have to be in Aries. This is it. It's like the attack moon. It's the action moon. Now I don't take back what I said before, but, but that's an exact date where suddenly 
it comes out or something maybe you have been there's something that's been secret and that's been intentionally held back but i don't think it's to harm you i think it's either you like i'm not ready yet i'm not ready yet i'm not ready yet now you know when you're going to be ready now you know when the pounce should happen or it's somebody that you can feel something's coming this is not an attack because this is upright the king of the the, the um knight of swords just says that yes yeah, somebody wants to take an action that right now current time is just their it's it's secret it's they don't want to say it yet but when it's not the end of this week it's two weeks out <sighs> let's turn over these moon cards don't let your past hold you back and that's coming up in the past south node is now where it's in partnerships don't let your past partnerships hold you back this does not have to be romantic this could be partnership in business partnership in friendship but it would be somebody that's close to you or a partnership that really mattered so it's like don't let your past hold you back or where you've gotten comfortable where you've gotten cozy right especially in terms of your belief system don't let your belief system everything is sometimes our belief system just screws us up right oh, everything is shit it, it never works out you got to get the out of that mindset because you got to be ready for the new that's what aries energy is you got to be ready for the new the brand new as if this is a new you so if somebody asks you you don't say no based on what's happened in the past or you don't decide to miss your opportunity and ask somebody because of what's happened in the no 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 this is brand new this is rebirth from pisces to aries is complete regeneration what's the other card we have adjustments are required that's yeah i thought that's almost like yeah adjustments are required we're going to get into exactly what that is but it's 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 coming out here adjustments are required anytime something goes from concept to reality so scorpio this is also kind of a warning don't get disappointed if all of this has isn't you know listen you know the synchronicity of when it's going to happen of when to pounce of when the time is right but it doesn't mean that it manifests itself the way that you dream it because nothing ever fucking does dreams are not reality reality is heavier and it's harder to move so don't judge what's unfolding based on the comparison you make to how it felt in your imagination because it's supposed to be different it's supposed to be different so adjustments are required maybe some laws rules legal adjustments have to be made because this is where it came out there ha there may be some legal adjustments or some official adjustments that have to be made contracts that have to be signed or details that have to be agreed on like mature fucking adults and it's all going to happen around that time we got to get deeper <laughs> i know dude i'm ge okay <sighs> scorpio what are these adjustments money number one is financial and it means becoming a tightwad or not spending so quickly um it doesn't mean that you don't have it it means that you looking back you saw all the abundance and all earth energy including taurus which is finance it's saying now you know how to handle money now you know how to be responsible first card out slow and steady maybe this indicates you've been saving or it indicates that you're going to have to save from this point on it could be that money has to be more precious so handle them oh, oh man, okay <laughs> stop okay because what else came out the queen of pentacles so this is a female a fe not necessarily a female and a feminine earth sign or earth energy somebody who's extremely responsible extremely practical and extremely not necessarily tightwad but they are 100 percent like really they're good with money 
They're, they're good with money. They're not spent. This is, this is being organized. This could be a person who is really respectful and responsible when it comes to finances and being able to manage things on a dime. This is wisdom, wisdom, not just knowledge, wisdom with how to turn a buck, make a buck and keep a buck. So this was the first adjustment that was required. So more financial responsibility. Also, it could represent a new job has come in. This is when the contract is going to be signed. Could also recommend, or you're seeing somebody's value differently now because, you know, maybe they're not flashy. You know, maybe they're not, because this isn't a flashy queen. This queen is responsible. What's flashy about this person is how reliable they are and how steadfast they are they their value is intrinsic it's not external and so now there's a sense of valuing that and finally remember i said at the beginning of the reading the sense of now i see now somebody gets the value of this person maybe of you the value of them like all of a sudden the light switch turns on let's go to the extended i'll see you guys there